What's going on guys? In this video, we are going to be taking a closer look at this very cool and affordable product. This is a monitor made for wireless Apple CarPlay as well as wireless Android Auto. This is currently under 70 bucks with the $40 discount coupon. I will leave the link to it in the description box down below if you want to check it out. Just make sure if you are going to get it, make sure you click that box under the price. That way you get $40 off. Here's the box shipped and delivered into us. Nicely wrapped. Now, inside of the box, let's see what we are presented with. First thing, of course, we have the main product, the wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. This is a seven inch display. And right below here, we have all of your accessories. Here's some tools to help you install. Here is the main power cable. And the user manual and here's the double adhesive piece in which you can uh, put under the display here to stick it or attach it onto your core dashboard looks really nice now at the bottom here there's already a double side adhesive piece right here installed on here the other piece in the box is just extra just in case you uh, need it whenever and here it is guys seven inch display from corner to corner it is fully touchscreen. On the back, you have a uh, USB to input flash drive. You have the uh, auxiliary output, the standard USB-C power cable. So if you already have a USB-C uh, you know, in your car, you can just use your existing cable pretty much, or just simply use the one that comes with it inside the box. You also have a built-in speaker right here, which is really nice. So there's four ways you can listen to music. You can listen to music with the built-in speaker here, or you can connect it uh, via uh, wireless CarPlay or Android Auto and have the music from your phone go to here and then from here directly to your uh, speaker in your car. Now, you can also do Bluetooth from here to your car, or you can also do the FM transmitter. So there's four different ways. You can pick whichever way is best for you. Now on top, you also have a little micro SD card input in which you can put uh, music in there to listen to pictures or videos, whatever you want. As for the display itself, you can actually swivel and move it around into any direction you like, as you can see right there, where you can have a perfect viewing angle. Now, if you look on this side, you have this little uh, lever right here. You move this to the front to lock the screen in place. So what this does is once it is unlocked by moving it to the back, it allows you to move and swivel the screen display to whichever direction you want and then lock it back in place when you're done. Now on top, you also have a uh, power button right there to turn the screen on or off. Here it is connected and on inside of my car. And again, you can swivel and move the screen to any direction you want. Personally for me, I kind of want it to point towards me because I'm the main driver in this car and there's really ever anybody else in this car. So let's go ahead and take the sticker off. Super, super clean and nice. Check that out, guys. And of course, when you first power it on, you have the uh, uh, schedule to uh, adjust it to year, month, date, hour, and minute. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And it is very, very sensitive, guys. So. This is the home screen right here. Again, this is compatible with both Apple CarPlay wireless and Android Auto, both wireless, which is really, really nice. It also has mirror link in which you can mirror your entire iPhone or any Android phone on here as well. Once you connect it the first time, every other time when you get into the car, it will connect automatically, which is really, really convenient, fast and nice as well. So on the home screen, you have the music control, the Bluetooth control and all of your other menus right here, including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Apple AirPlay, or Miracast. Now to connect this to the Apple CarPlay, pretty easy, or Android Auto, all you have to do is go to your setting and connect it via Bluetooth and select use CarPlay or Android Auto once it is connected. And again, guys, in the future, it will automatically connect uh, every single time you turn on the car. You only have to do it one time. So let's go ahead and show you what this menu entails. So in here you have the same stuff again, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Apple AirPlay, Miracast, Bluetooth, FM transmitter, music, or video. Now, 
video and music or directly from the micro SD that's uh, you put inside of here. I don't have anything in there, so it's just empty. Now, to listen to your music, if you want to uh, have the audio from your phone directly to your core speaker, what you have to do is either use the auxiliary output in the back or you can also use the FM transmitter feature right here. All you have to do is turn this on and then put your core radio to 90.4 and everything you hear from your phone will go to your core speaker simultaneously at the same time. So I currently have Apple CarPlay connected and as you can see right there, the display looks really, really clear and crisp, looks really, really nice. So as you can see right there, you can use Waze, uh, Google Map and uh, Zoom, all those other apps that you can use on your phone. Here's a quick look at what the map look like. Really cool, very responsive. And right here, your phone, book, calendar, and settings. You can see right there. And home is to go back to this main screen right here. Again, very straightforward and very, very affordable price again with everything that you can do. Most of these products cost over $100. It is available on sale right now for under $70. It is marked at, I think, about $109, but there's currently a sale going on. You can get it for uh, $40 off. So I will leave the link to where you can get this in the description box down below. Feel free to click the link and check it out. Oh, another thing I like is, guys, most older wireless car player Android Auto screen like these requires more than one cord. This one right here only requires one cord, and it's just really as simple as that, guys. Plug in that one cable in, and bam, it is pretty much ready to go for your use, regardless if you have Android phone or Apple iPhones. Works great in older cars, especially if your car don't have a uh, navigation system or don't have any kind of touchscreen like this. You can use this as a navigation system and display to watch your videos, YouTube, listen to music, or do whatever it is that you want. So I do like the product. Check it out, guys. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.